It has been a while since we've done one of these, ladies and gentlemen. I am so freaking excited for what is that everything. Yes, it is. Get out of here. Mr. Package, it has been a long time since we've done something like this, but I don't know what I was going to say there. Uh, we're doing it today, I guess. Isn't it great when you make a video about capsule play rails and then you get another one in the mail the next day? So some of you guys may remember when in that video, I mentioned that capsule play rail used to make motorized vehicles and uh, oops, I don't know if you can see what's inside of this yet, but uh, we're going to be taking a look at one today. My first one, personally. If I can get this open. Oh my gosh, there it is. There it is. Oh my lord, ladies and gentlemen. And my collection has now peaked. We have the jet engine, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ, I haven't been this hyped since I got the Tomy jet engine as a kid, the blue track one. Now I want one of the... I shouldn't have said that. So what this set is, is the jet engine and in here if you couldn't tell from the color is a thomas which we're going to put together here in a second but what's cool about this like i mentioned earlier is it is motorized there's no batteries in it currently but we're about to test it and see if it works because it freaking better imagine i was that hyped and it just does that'd be my luck that would really be my luck i also just realized how off center the camera was oopsie daisy thank you unscrew this one here I hope I'm right. And oh, I guess there's one on the back too. Let's get that one undone. And there it is. We have the little compartment here. Is this a what battery is this? I've never seen a battery that's so. Well, that, yeah, I guess that's my luck. What the heck? Okay, so I guess we will get back to this shortly or at some other point. Is this seriously? This is, this is fucked. This is what this is. I guess I will put it back together for now. I guess instead we will put Thomas together. Let's go ahead and get him. Oops, out of the packaging. All right, out of the packaging. Oh, wow, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite Capsule Play Rail Thomases like ever. We have the surprised face Thomas, as we should, since he has the uh, jet engine here. And this is a pusher pull along variant. He has the front coupler. And this will, whenever I can. Bro, what? There we go. Push him around. This does not free roll at all. So, just imagine it does. It also does not like uncoupling or coupling up. Jeez, I don't want to break you, dude. Come on. That is, that is too much effort for what I was doing right there. So uh, we we have Thomas complete now. He looks, I'm not going to lie, I really like this. He looks pretty damn good. And we have the jet engine, which also looks really damn good. Does not need any stickers, I guess. But we cannot power either of them at the moment because uh, I don't have any Japanese batteries that are smaller than a AAA. So... We'll be back, I guess. All right, so I'm back from the store. Um, I asked Twitter and they told me to get the Energizer in batteries. And um, what the fuck is a bat? What I've never seen a bat. What, what do you do with this? What do you do with an in battery? Lame. Look at this. It's just literally, it's, it's a squished down AAA. It's a squished down fatter AAA. And I get... This is probably the only use for these in the world. Even the box does not know what these are used for. But, um, 
yeah, hopefully this works. Let's give it a shot. Also, quick note, I think it's funny how this still has a back coupler on the jet part. I am definitely going to use that to my advantage for some funny shots. Oh boy, it works. Alrighty. I was gonna say for a second there, did not want to work. I was about to be very upset. Wow, that's got some speed to it. So, connect Thomas to, oh my God, I forgot how hard this was gonna be. Connect Thomas to it with the might of Zeus. Oh my, to relaxed, dude, chill, you gotta. He's drifting right, I'm gonna go build a track and um, show you guys this in action. Actually, never mind. this is pretty, is this enough for you? It's enough for me. And he just fell off the deck. All right, I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, our first test will be on flex track. I found flex track to be troublesome. A lot of engines don't really like to go on it. A lot of consists get messed up on it, but it seems that these two handle it pretty well. Got duck in the middle there looking mad jealous. I really want to put this thing to the test though. So after this, I built a pretty normal looking layout with a bunch of different tracks and a bunch of different destinations for him to go through or over. Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have any incline or decline tracks, so I can't really test that, but I can test general usability, I guess. And if I'm honest, this thing does amazingly. Most things I thought would give it trouble, like the turntable or turnouts, really didn't. And Thomas and his jet engine rode the rails pretty gracefully. Not a single issue in the world, everything going smoothly and perfectly. For, for a little bit, for not, not the entire time, sadly. So it turns out any small bumps in the track could lead to catastrophe, and I had a pretty big one after Boulder Mountain. This revelation was easily fixed though, and pretty quickly Thomas was right back to it. Very hypnotically, I might add. Let's watch him for a minute. So eventually I decide I want to test this thing a little more and get the idea to put Duck on a flatbed behind top. This worked way too well. This works just way too well. I'm pretty sure it's just because Duck is kind of heavy and it's weighing down enough to where it won't go any- I, th This just doesn't look like it should work, but it does and I'm astonished really. The only logical thing to do next is throw every wagon I have on hand at it and see what that does. I'm gonna let Duck take charge on this one. He seems confident. He seems ready for whatever's about to happen, so let's just send him. I feel like Thomas has been through quite enough, maybe, so far. He, he, he doesn't look okay. I have faith in the Great Western Way. I have been forsaken. Clearly, that was too much for Duck. We're gonna make it two wagons. Two. That, that should be fine. I mean, troublesome trucks and Duck, that, that's never caused a disaster before, right? And off we go, and everything seems pretty smooth, pretty, yeah, eh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's farther than I thought it'd make it. So unless the wagon it's pushing is weighted, it's a lot better off with just one singular locomotive. I imagine this would spell trouble for engines like the Flying Scotsman or almost really any Tinder engine. We will test that further later. For now, I think I'm gonna let Duck and Thomas have some fun with their new toy. I shouldn't have said that. Thomas is like, who's new toy, bitch? You know, there's crashing, and then there's crashing fashionably. You know, which one is it? Which one is it? I like to think he chose the latter. All right, I know I said we were going to do Scotsman, but since Molly didn't get to get 
shown off in the capsule collection video, I figured we would do her instead. And we also have Donald, who is a push-along tender engine. We will see how both of these two do with the jet engine. I don't think Molly's going to do that great, I'll be honest, because the wind-up engines do not like to move too well unless they're wound up. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, wow. A lot better than I anticipated. Well, yeah, that was um, inevitable, I guess. But that was a lot better than I thought it was going to go. She's going decently, I guess. What is that? Like a, like a 7 out of 10? Maybe like a 6? I'll be generous and say 7. Like a 7 out of 10 with the actual wind-up engines. I was going to be a dick and put Thomas on the track, but... Didn't have to. All right, and here we have custom Donald with the jet engine. Let's see if he can do any better. That is, well, he, you couldn't see it, cause but he uh, he fell, he fell. All right, let's see. You know, not too bad, not too bad. I think it's the side rods I gave him. Um, I think they make him a little bit jumpy. Um, and he just fell again in the same spot where you couldn't even see. At least fall where I can get content out of it, dude, please. And just because I want to, we're gonna put James with the jet engine now too. I wanna see what happens to him. Come on, dude, don't, don't embarrass me like this. Good job. Great job. That was awesome. So I'd say it's safe to assume, um, at least jet engine wise, it's best to stick to like tank engines and normal push along engines because, well, I don't know. Molly did pretty well. Molly did pretty well, but engines with motors and other stuff just don't seem to like to get pushed around. Even the push along engines don't always like getting pushed around. They, they're, they're not very, they live by their own rules. That's the best way to put it. 10 out of 10, one of the best toys I've ever, this is not a joke, seriously, like 10 out of 10, please get one of these.